Miss Wayne, why are you so sad? Is it because you wrecked the entire couch, pretty much? You're not supposed to have pillows on there, but you've been stealing them. Been making forts out of it, I see. Yes, you have. Hey guys, and welcome back to V-Vlogs. This house is absolutely freezing. That's why I'm wearing a sweater and a toque right now. I don't know what it was, just woke up, and it is like 18 degrees in here. Celsius, not Fahrenheit, that would be insane. Probably because fall weather's finally coming in, starting to get cold, school started and all that stuff. So hope is leaving this world. And yeah, so I woke up at the crack of dawn this morning because we were actually getting our washing machine, not washing machine, dishwasher right here replaced. Cause it's been on the fritz for the past little while and the guy's coming in, giving us a new one and taking the old one out. We've known about this appointment for a while now, and I don't know what it was, but last night it just didn't click with me that, hey, you know, there's a guy coming into the house, I should probably clean the house. The appointment we have is from seven till 12, so he can show up anytime between then. And by the time I got down here, it finally sunk in. Oh no, this kitchen was completely in ruins. It was in shambles. Luckily, I managed to clean it in time but I loaded the dishwasher and I never turned it on last night. The sink was full of stuff from dinner last night. It was insane, stuff was everywhere. I had all my art stuff sitting out here on the counter. And if this guy showed up, people would probably think that we were just like absolute crazy people or there was at least 10 other people living here. I was luckily able to clean everything. I had to do it by hand because I couldn't put it in the dishwasher itself because I don't think there's allowed to be any water left over in the pipes. We managed to get it done and that was at about eight o'clock when I finished. But I was curious why the heck hasn't the guy shown up yet? And of course I just get a call about 10 minutes ago. It's about 9.20 as you guys probably can't see, but it's 9.20 now and they finally said, oh yeah, he's gonna be showing up in an hour. So the panic was really for nothing, but at least the house is clean. Winnie seems to be a lot more relaxed now knowing that I've been down here and she was fed very early this morning. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Jessie's still upstairs, she's just getting ready. We have the bedroom upstairs prepared to receive Miss Wynn because we can't have her running around and jumping on the installer. So yeah, we'll let you guys know what's going on. Hopefully he's here and out pretty quick. I can't imagine dishwashers take too long to do. And we'll see you guys in a little bit. Let's go see your mom. Let's go, come on. A little more excitement than that. Or do I have to say the word? Winnie, would you like to go upstairs? Really? Oh, there you go. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on. Really? No excitement? Oh, okay, that's why. All right, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Run, 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 run. 12 seconds later. Wow, that was actually done a lot faster than I thought it would be. Winnie, come on, you gotta come downstairs. Come on, let's go. Don't just look at things. Come on, you gotta come down. Come see the new stuff. Come on, 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 come on. Let's go see. Yes, I know there's a vacuum there. Oh, okay. I guess you have zero interest. It sucks. That really sucks. I don't know why I deleted it. So, I'm downstairs now. I look like poopies because I'm not feeling well. Um, you look like poopies. Poopies and poopies. You don't look like poopies. So, I came to a realization last night when I was looking through old photos on my phone that I found about two years ago in 2017, my dad and I found a fairy house. And I'm so upset that I didn't mention it in the video I posted yesterday because it was all about fairies and I couldn't mention it there. I was just telling Ty that the video was on fairy circles and he said that he has seen one before recently, took a picture of it and then deleted it. So he could have shown I you guys. I was clearing storage on my phone. <laughs> The fairy circle that we found was actually at the old shop that I worked at, the furniture mm -hmm. shop that I've shown you guys in the vlog before. Behind the shop, there's a fairy circle. I don't know, three feet so big. So it's a small one. It's a small one, it's a little tiny one. But I know when I was a kid, my mom always told me you never walk in a fairy circle. Oh, so you already you know the do. lore. Yeah, of course I do. Because if you walk in the fairy circle, you get taken to another world and then yeah. they can take you. Yeah. That's why fairies always try and lead you into them. Yeah. Mischievous ones though. See, I know this stuff, Jess. This is I like didn't what know I you knew about fairy circles. Yeah. There's, I think there's one, I'm not sure where it is. It's somewhere in Europe, I think, and it's- The biggest one. Yeah, where nothing grows. Nothing grows in it. It's in the middle of a forest. How does he know this? Okay, your mom is so much cooler now, like what? Your yeah. mom told you about fairy circles? 
Yeah, because we had one on my old property as well. I love his mom. Like, she I knows know. everything. Like, there's the she knows all the mythical things. Explanation for it. How, did you talk about what it really is? Yeah, mushrooms. Yeah, it's mushrooms. But the reason why they form circles is because the fungus is at the center and then it branches out and it makes a circle. Yeah. So if you want to get rid of a fairy circle, you just stay down, down in the center. Seven feet. Yeah, and you'll find the fungus, like the yeah. main core of it. That's how you get rid of it. But all the lore behind it is really cool too. Yeah. And I think actually one of my friends that I went to college with, she was in the animation program. Mm -hmm. She did like a short animation on fairy circles as well. Oh, cool. It was kind of scary though, because the kid walked in and the fairy started chasing them around. Like the fairy was all nice and that got really scary and started chasing well, the kid. I was telling them that fairies aren't nice and happy and jolly like you think they Not are. Not always. Most fairies are very, they don't like humans very much and they're kind of evil and don't don't want to be around us but yeah there's also the other lore is that if you go into it um you're doomed to like run around the ring until you go crazy and die mm -hmm. yeah there's a lot of curses with fairy rings and to reverse the curse apparently you have to go run around it nine times on a full moon apparently so yeah anyways i thought it was really cool that he had seen one but deleted the picture but I do have a picture on my phone. It's not of a fairy ring, unfortunately, but it is a fairy house that I thought was really cool that my dad and I found. So this was probably the summer of 2017 after I moved into this house. And that day you were actually still working at the restaurant. So you weren't with me. And I think I sent you this picture when I found it, but my dad, my sister, my mom, and I, we were all walking through this really cute little town. I think like 15 minutes from here and there was this foresty area and we were walking through it and my dad's like oh my gosh Jess look and I was like what and he pointed and into the tree I have a picture of it that Ty can show you there was a little like fairy house there was a gate there were little cute little mushrooms it was like a fairy front door and I thought it was so cool took a picture of it <clears throat> and there was this little girl who was looking at it as well with her mom and the little girl was like yeah we have lots of fairies here so we have to give them homes and I was like, oh my gosh, that is so cool. Like, I totally believe in fairies. Yeah, I'm just looking through all my pictures just in case I might have missed it. Yeah. <clears throat> and yeah, I have a picture of soup, but not oh. of the fairy circle. That looks yummy. It was good soup, actually. That was what my friend and I made. Mm. It was lime chicken curry soup. We did not go soft on the lime. It was really good. Mm. Well, at least I have proof of my fairy house. Have you seen fairy houses ever? Look what my mom made you. I know, of we had this to show. Well, this is a fairy door, so Ty's mom makes these really cool fairy doors. Where's the key? Hold up the key so you can show them. It comes with a key, <clears throat> and it's made out of a horseshoe, and I think it's so cool. So we just keep this on our countertop. Because it brings the good fairies. It brings the good fairies here to hang out. So. And also, the story behind these, especially for kids who get these, yeah. my mom makes sure to tell them that fairies really like clean houses, so you gotta make sure you do your oh. doors. <laughs> there you go. Which is true. They do like clean houses. Well, fairies seem like they'd be really like organized and clean, I feel like. Do you see their door? It's very yes. nice. So yeah, that's my story about finding a fairy house. If you guys have had any experiences like running into fairy circles, well not literally running into, I hope you don't run into them. Run around. But them. like if you see them or if you've seen a fairy like house, people build like fairy houses in their gardens and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. Like the display for the fairy doors yeah. that I made for my mom was actually two logs that were cut in half and we made it look like it was on like kind of like a tree stump. Yeah. Put moss all over it and so people do put the mini gardens. Oh, cool. I'm very fascinated by them. I've always loved them. My sister, I think I've told this story, but at her kindergarten graduation, everyone had to say what they wanted to be when they grew up. And when I got to her, she was like, I want to be a green fairy. And like everyone just went silent. And then two seconds later started bursting out laughing. She's like, what? It's not funny. I actually do. Because everyone else was like, firefighter or like, you know, police officer. And she was like, ninja. definitely a green fairy. <laughs> totally a ninja. But she doesn't like green anymore, so I don't know what that was about. Well, she's wrong. <laughs> Green's the best. Yes, that's Ty's favorite color. Anyways, though, that's our stories about fairies. Let us know if you have any, and I'll keep an eye out for any fairy circles. Mm -hmm. We need to go on more hikes. I'm really frustrated that I deleted the picture. I can't believe that, but you wouldn't have known we were going to do a video on oh. fairy circles. No, I, I showed you the picture once. And that was the only point of having it, was yeah. just to show it to you. Why I didn't send it to you, I don't know, because if I at least sent it to you, we could probably retrieve it, but... See, I don't delete my pictures, so I actually have a fairy house, which I will send to you to put in the video. Anyways, have a good rest of your day, and we will see you in our next vlog, okay? Bye! See you guys.